BioFinder Advances Detection of Extraterrestrial Life. This is by Marcy Grabowski, University of Hawaii at Manoa, bifis.org. An innovative scientific instrument, the Compact Color BioFinder, developed by a team of University of Hawaii at Manoa researchers, may change the game in the search for signs of extraterrestrial life. Most biological materials, for example, amino acids, fossils, sedimentary rocks, plants, microbes, proteins, and lipids have strong organic fluorescent signals that can be detected by specialized scanning cameras. In a study published in Nature Scientific Reports recently, the research team reported that the biofinder is so sensitive that it can actually detect the bioresidue in fish fossils from 34 to 56 million year old Green River formation. Quote, the BioFinder is the first system of its kind, end quote. This is what Anapun Anupam Misra said, lead instrument developer and researcher at the Hawaii Institute of Geophysics and Paleontology at University of Hawaii Manoa School of Ocean and Earth Science and Technology. We'll call that the short SOEST for short. At present, there is no other equipment that can detect minute amounts of bioresidue on a rock during the daytime. Additional strengths of the BioFinder is that it works from a distance of yards away, takes video, and can quickly scan a large area. Though the BioFinder was first developed in 2012 by MISRA, advanced support by the NASA Picasso program, culminated in the latest color version of the compact BioFinder. Finding evidence of biological residue in a vast planetary landscape is an enormous challenge. So the team tested the BioFinder's detection abilities on the ancient Green River fish fossils and corroborated the results through laboratory spectroscopy analysis, scanning electron microscope, and fluorescent lifetime imaging microscopy. There are some unknowns regarding how quickly bioresidues are replaced by minerals in the fossilization process, Misra says. However, our findings confirm once more that biological residue can survive millions of years and that using biofluorescence imaging effectively detects these traced residues in real time. The search for life, which may be existing or extinct on planetary bodies, is one of the major goals of planetary exploration missions conducted by NASA and other international space agencies. If the BioFinder were mounted on a rover on Mars or another planet, well, obviously that's what they should do, we would be able to rapidly scan large areas quickly to detect evidence of past life. Even if the organism was small, not easy to see with our eyes, and dead for many millions of years, said Misra, we anticipate that fluorescence imaging will be critical in future NASA missions to detect organics and the existence of life on other planetary bodies. The BioFinder's capabilities would be critical for NASA's planetary protection program for the accurate and no-invasive no detection of contaminants such as microbes or extraterrestrial biohazards to or from planet Earth, said Sonia Rowley, the team biologist and co-author on the study. Misra and colleagues are applying to have the opportunity to send the BioFinder on a future NASA mission. The detection of such biomarkers would constitute groundbreaking evidence for our life, for life outside of planet Earth, said Misra. Obviously, this is a necessary thing on rovers. This is by University of Hawaii at Manoa on FIS.org, and uh, it was uh, yesterday's article. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.